So two to three years back, everyone in the adventure touring community wanted to own a Triumph Tiger 800. It was considered as the best touring bike. But now, in the last two, three years, things have changed. Everyone wants to own a BMW 1250 GS. So in this video, we'll be talking about why everyone aspires to own the BMW 1250 GS. Is it just the BMW badge or this motorcycle really has something to it? Fearless. So friends, as you know, I own a Triumph Tiger 800 and I've been riding that machine for almost two and a half years now. But since I've gotten my hands on the BMW 1250 GS, it has been a completely new experience for me. This is a 1250cc monster from BMW and it is one of the most friendliest upgrades that you can do if you are aspiring to own the best bike from BMW. So that brings me to the first point why this machine makes a lot of sense. Although it gives 134 bhp of power and 142 newton meters of torque, it is one of the easiest machines that you can ride. It does not have that abrupt acceleration that you expect from high capacity motorcycles and the power delivery on this machine is super linear. Coming from a Tiger 800, uh, this machine felt even easier to manage. So the comfort of this machine starts right from its posture. When you get aboard this spaceship, the first thing that you will feel is the seat height. Even though this bike weighs 250 kgs, I can easily keep my feet on the ground. I am for reference 6 feet tall. The seat height has been adjusted for Indians so that everyone, I, I should say everyone in the height range of 5, 9 or above should, would be comfortable riding this machine. Compare it to any other adventure touring bike in the market. You compare it to the Ducati Multistrada, you compare it to the Tiger, you compare it to any other high capacity machine. This sort of seat height is something that you will not get. Next up, if you talk about the weight of this machine, the weight distribution is awesome. And the primary reason for this great weight distribution is this, the way the engines are laid out. The 1250cc twin cylinder machine has engines laid out in the old school boxer style. So what it means is the engines are not piled up one over the other, but are laid out flat. What the boxer layout of the 1250cc engine on the BMW does is lowers the center of gravity. The lower the center of gravity is, the less you will feel the weight of this machine. And this is not just a theoretical gimmick. So I rode this bike from Gurgaon to Noida in the rush hour at 6 p.m. And in the bumper to bumper traffic, I was not even feeling the heft of this 250 kg machine. It was very easy to filter the bike through traffic. Uh, it just took me about five minutes to get used to it. And after that, it felt like a 600, 650 cc motorcycle that you could easily ride for your daily commute as well. And two other things that really impressed me while riding this machine in bumper to bumper traffic were, first, the clutch is very light for such a heavy and high capacity motorcycle. And for any sort of reference, I am comparing it to the Tiger 800 that I have at home. The clutch is much lighter than that. Also, uh, the heating from the engine was I would say negligible if you are talking about superbike category. 1250cc machine with this sort of an engine layout ensures that the heat from the engine is not directly hitting your calves and your legs. So all the heat dissipates very easily from the side of the motorcycle and while riding in traffic I was not even feeling an ounce of heat even though I was wearing my normal uh, jeans to work on that day. Other adventure tourers in the market are comfortable for long touring. But this one gives a totally new definition to what comfort means when you're riding your bike day after day on long trips. First things first, the seat is super comfortable here. I'm comparing it to all the seats that I've seen on different sort of motorcycles. A Ducati has decent comfort. Uh, my Triumph Tiger, I would also say, I would say that it also has an average level of comfort. 
something like six out of 10. But this one, I would give it a 10 out of 10. The width of the seats is so impressive. The seat for the pillion is almost a feet wide. And the type of cushioning, the quality of cushioning on this split seat setup is just amazing. Very, very comfortable for long trips and something that will surely prevent you from having a sore butt after a day's long ride. Next up, uh, when we talk about the wind protection, this bike has a pretty aerodynamic front. Uh, all the wind that hits the front of the bike is very beautifully deflected to either side of the rider. And along with that, the way BMW has made this windscreen is also very commendable. The quality is very good. So nothing really hits your chest or throat area. And I don't think uh, additional or a wider or a longer windscreen is required when you get this sort of a machine. Apart from that, the beefy tank also gives you a lot of comfort because you can really put your knees tight to it and while saddling on off-road sections, the narrowness of the tank at this area really helps you maneuver the bike right and left and avoid obstacles when you are doing those trails. And one last thing when you talk about touring that I feel is very good on this machine is it does not have a traditional chain sprocket. It has a shaft drive. Although it might be a little expensive to maintain in the long run, but on your trips, you don't have to worry about lubing your chain every 600 or 700 kilometers. And that becomes a hassle when you have to start your ride every day after having a long ride day on a 13 or a 14 day long trip. You don't want to you know, start your day by lubing your chain every day on the long trip. So with this machine, you don't have to worry about that. But I think everyone would be interested in knowing how fast this machine can go. The 1250GS can easily hit 200-205 kmph when you are really pushing it hard. And from a mileage standpoint, if you are touring on the normal 90 to 110 or 120 kmph speeds, you can expect a mileage of around 19 to 21 kilometers per liter. Although I was very focused on getting a 21 inch front wheel motorcycle when I was there in the market two and a half, three years back, but now after riding the 1250GS, I feel the 19-inch front wheel gives you the best of both the worlds. The 19-inch front wheel gives you awesome performance on the roads, on the twisties, and is big enough to help you clear some sort of obstacles as well when you are doing those off-road trips. Talking about off-roads, we have to also talk about the suspension on this machine. BMW offers the telelever suspension on its GS range of motorcycles, the 1250GS, the 1200 that used to come earlier and this is one of the best suspensions in the market. I always used to hear from my friends how good this suspension is but after riding this machine uh, today on various off-road sections, I feel that it is very well balanced. It does not throw you off the bike but at the same time helps you clear rough patches with a lot of comfort. So kudos to BMW for making such a pliant suspension and setting the benchmark for all adventure touring motorcycles out there. One of the biggest reasons people get lured towards the Triumph Tiger uh, is because of the triple cylinder setup that it has. The triple cylinder setup gives you that awesome sports bike like exhaust note. But on the BMW, the exhaust note is typical of what you get on adventure touring motorcycles. The exhaust on the BMW is throaty and it has a lot of twin character. So it really keeps you entertained on those higher revs and especially when you are coming out of those pits and slushy areas, the exhaust note is something that will really egg you to throttle it out hard and come out of tricky terrains. The GS, like any other premium adventure touring motorcycle, is loaded with electronics. And BMW has really thrown the kitchen sink at it in terms of all the technology that you get in modern motorcycles. One of the biggest draws of the GS, for me at least, is the high quality TFT screen that you get on this machine. Everything starts up when you press this uh, button to 
start ignition on the motorcycle with the beautiful GS animation greeting you and the crystal clear display. The display looks like it is from one of the iPads that you normally use at home. A uh, lot of options here, a lot of uh, riding modes. You have the dynamic mode, the road mode, the off-road mode, the off-road pro mode, all those standard modes uh, which will help you to play with the electronics in accordance with the terrain you are riding this motorcycle on. A lot of buttons here and I really love this simplistic dial here on the left handlebar here which really helps you to navigate through this display. Of course the GS also comes with heated grips. The best tech that BMW has given this motorcycle is the keyless ignition system. You look at this key from BMW looks so classy with that BMW badge and uh, you just have to keep this key inside your pocket. If it is close to you, you can just press the button here and switch on the bike, lock the handlebar with a longer press and even get started rolling on the motorcycle with the key just in your pocket. So one less hassle when you are on the trip. Always keep your key inside the pocket. That is what comfort technology offers when it is integrated in the right way on your machine. So while we have talked about all the top of the line features that BMW has given on their best adventure tourer, this baby is really difficult to buy and maintain for most of the folks out there in our country at least. Uh, with a price tag of about 22 lakhs on road that is in Delhi, uh, it is one of the most expensive bikes that you can buy to tour our country and beyond. You look at the competition out there in the market right now, you think about the Triumph Tiger 900 which has recently come out. It is topping off at around 17 to 17 and a half lakhs. You look at the Multistrada, it is also kind of in the 19 to 20 lakh range. But when you look at the BMW 1250 GS, it is at least two to and a half lakhs expensive than all other motorcycles. Apart from that, uh, this is really not the top of the line version. This is the R1250. BMW also provides an adventure specific version which is called the GSA and that one comes with a much bigger fuel tank and additional accessories and that one my friends costs almost 25 lakhs on road. So the question really is how much is too much money to spend on an adventure touring motorcycle. Buying this motorcycle is one thing. Apart from that maintaining this is another big hassle. So when you talk about service costs, we are talking about something in the range of about 25 to 30,000 rupees annually. Apart from that, a hefty insurance premium as well. I think the insurance premium would easily be around 60 to 65,000 rupees. I'm just taking a guess. So you are really looking at over a lakh of expenses of just keeping this beauty at your home and enjoying the comfort it offers while on the road. So to conclude, I really feel that the GS is really the best adventure touring motorcycle out there in the market right now. If you have the money to get this machine and maintain it, there is no question you should just go for this one. Ignore the Tiger 900, ignore the Africa Twin as well, just because of the all-round capability and practical comfort it offers to you. So that is it for this video guys. Uh, the idea of making this video was to share with you uh, some sort of a perspective on the BMW 1250 GS from a Tiger 800 owner's perspective. I hoped you liked what I shared with you in this video. If you really like the video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the 23 Rides channel. Stay tuned and stay connected. Bye bye. Every day to commute. Where are you from? Bagnaz! Hey! Burning the bridge that keeps us. I'm here and I'm feeling, feeling. Exaggerated, that's what you us.